To solve the system by graphing, I'm going to graph each equation and look for the intersection point. So my first step is I'm going to graph the first equation. Now, to graph this, we have a couple of methods that we can do. You can make a table, and that would work fine. You can use the intercept method by finding the intercepts. That wouldn't work so well because if you notice, if you plug in y equals 0, x is going to be 1 half, and that's going to be a fraction. And it's hard to plot fractions on that graphing tool, uh, or even by hand. So I'm not going to do that. The third method is um, using y equals mx plus b. The making a table will work fine, but I, or the using y equals mx plus b, the only one I would avoid is the intercept method, but I'm going to go ahead and use y equals mx plus b. Okay, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to solve for y. To solve for y, I need to subtract 2x from both sides, so I'm going to get y equals negative 2x plus 1. And then I notice from my equation that the m is negative 2 and the b is 1. And if you remember, the b stands for the y-intercept. The m stands for the slope. So I'm going to make that a ratio so it looks like slope, and the slope is the rise over the run the slope. So what I'm going to do to graph this is I'm going to choose the y-intercept is 1 for the y-intercept. And then I'm going to rise, I'm going to go down 2 and over 1 to get another point. Again, down 2 if you look at the graph, and over 1. And I'm going to do it one more time, down 2 and over 1, just to get 3 points, and I'm going to draw a line. Okay, now I'm going to do my second graph, graph my second equation. And again, I'm going to use the same formula. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. It's a little bit trickier because we have this negative y. Now we have to divide everything by negative 1 to solve for y all three terms to get y is equal to 2x plus 5. So now in this problem we have our slope, our m, is 2, and I'll put that over 1 to make it a rise over 1, and our y-intercept is 5. So let's start with the y-intercept. So again, in a different color, the y-intercept is 5. Now I'm going to go up 2 over 1. I'm going to do it one more time, just to give myself three points so I can draw a really nice line. Okay, that is the graph of the second equation. To get the solution to your system, you look for the intersection point. Let's do that in a third color. Right there is the intersection point. So I visualize what is that point. It looks like negative 1, comma, 1, 2, 3. So the answer is negative 1, comma, 3. Now, on the computer, it's a little challenging to do this. I think I've showed you before, but I can go ahead and do that again. So let's graph using the graphing tool. To show it on the graphing tool, I split the screen to have our work on the right and the graphing tool on the left. And to graph the first equation, what I do is I click on the line, and I click on the y-intercept, which is 1, and I do one click. Let's see if it works. There it goes. And then I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Do another click. That is my first line. To do my second line, I'm going to start at 5, so I have to click on line again to get another line and then go to 5, click once, at the y-intercept is 5, and this time I'm going to go up 2 into the right one. just need to do it once on the graphing tool. Get right there. That's the second line. And you can see that the intersection, oh, is it the same intersection? Is negative 1, 3, which is the same answer that we got. You hit save and you type in the, the intersection point in your solution box, and you're good to go. Hope that helps.